Well, good morning. It's Monday morning tea time with Mick on this incredible first uh, week of August. Wow, summer's going quick. Well, let me encourage you with God's word. Some of you may be a little tired, and I am convinced that rest is a good thing. Can anybody say amen out there? Well, as we look at rest, Jesus tells us in Matthew chapter 11, come to me, you who are weary or heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. Isaiah says that those that are weary will wait upon the Lord and they will renew their strength. There's two things there that I think are really good for us. The first is that we have to come to him. We have to come to Jesus in order to get spiritual rest. We can sleep as much as we want. We can take time off, but I believe the critical piece for all of us is to get spiritual renewal. Rest comes upon, yes, physical rest is good, but spiritual rest is also critical to our uh, being able to continue on in this marathon of life that we find ourselves. So the first thing is we must come to Jesus and he will give us rest. He promises us that. Come to him daily, ask him for strength, ask him to speak into your life as I do each and every day. And the other one that we see in Isaiah is to wait. Come to Jesus and then wait. Not an easy thing for me. I don't know about you. But nonetheless, he, he promises us that if we wait, he will what? Renew our strength. So we must not only come to Jesus, we must also wait. And in his perfect timing, he will give you and me exactly what we need when we need it. Isn't that good news? That's what he promises us. So are you tired today? Are you needing a little rest? Well, yeah, there's important rest patterns in our lives. Uh, not putting too much responsibility on ourselves. Not giving ourselves breaks or boundaries or uh, uh, limits. All of those things are critical to us and uh, running a, a race that God has for us. But not only that, we must do and be proactive in our relationship with him by coming to Jesus daily, being filled with his presence, but also to wait upon him to do the things he needs to do in our lives. That is listening, sitting, meditating, and allowing him to speak his spirit to our spirit. So often it's so hard for us, isn't it, to wait and to listen. We want immediate results. We want everything fixed with a snap of a finger. But that's not the way God works. He desires relationship. And relationship takes time. Relationship takes moments of cutting everything else out and focusing on him. That's why scripture says, fix your eyes on Jesus. Well, these are truths that you know and I know, but they're helpful when we're in the middle of it. Are you in the middle of it? Are you feeling weary, burdened? Do you need to renew your strength? Come to Jesus. As scripture declares, these promises are true. They're there for you and me to help us to keep on keeping on even when we can't. And it keeps us healthy. This is what I've known to be true for my own life. Take it from someone who is pretty motivated and pretty driven that if I, if I did not practice these principles, I probably would not be standing here today because I would have probably already burnt out. Grateful for my Lord's patience with me and also for the truth that is standing true throughout the days. Well, I pray you have an incredible week for God loves you, he always has, and he always will. He goes before you and behind you and absolutely nothing can take you out of his hands. I pray you have a blessed week, and to this truth I say, all right and amen.